Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about JavaScript, but this time we will focus on data types. You will learn what they are and why they are helpful in programming. They're basically building blocks in programming. We will also see an overview of the primitive data types that you can work with in JavaScript, including number, string, boolean, null, undefined, begin, and symbol. Are you ready? Let's begin. When you write a JavaScript program, you will write a sequence of instructions but these lines of code will have to work with even smaller units of information. This is what we call data. The data are the values that we can work with in a program. Some examples of data include text, numbers, and other special values that will be helpful to implement more complex logic and create more powerful programs. But every piece of data has a particular data type associated to it. So these two concepts are very closely related, data and data types. Every value that we can work with in a program has a particular data type that determines what we can do with that value. Formally, we can define the set of data types as the types of values that we can work with in a programming language. Data types are like categories that we use to divide or to describe the different values that we have available to work with in a programming language. And we can even define our own data types to give you an idea of how powerful they can be. The data type of a value is super important because it determines what we can do with that value in the program. When we talk about data types, we have to mention primitive data types because they are essential in every programming language, not just JavaScript. With primitive, I don't mean this type of primitive, okay? I mean this type of primitive. These are the data types that are fundamental for a programming language. They are like the most basic data types that we can combine to create more complex programs. Formally, we can define a primitive data type as a data type that is predefined in the programming language that we are working with. Now, for JavaScript, we have these data types, these primitive data types. Number, string, boolean, null, undefined, big int, and symbol. But actually, the ones that we will be using most commonly are the first three that you can see right here. Number, string, and boolean. Let's start with number. Number is a data type used to represent integers and decimal numbers. In programming, we call decimal numbers floats. These are some examples of numbers. 45, this is an integer. This is a decimal number. You can see the decimal point right here. Negative numbers are also considered part of the number data type. Let's talk a little bit about string, our second primitive data type. String is a data type used to represent a sequence of characters. When we refer to a sequence of characters, we are usually referring to text. If you ever need to represent anything that you could possibly represent with text in real life, then you would use a string for that in your program. So strings are one of the most frequently used data types in any programming language. This is an example of a string. To define a string, we have to surround the sequence of characters, in this case letters, with quotes. They could be either single or double quotes. That is equivalent. There are some specific use cases where you would need to use single quotes or double quotes or you will get an error, but in most situations they are interchangeable. And then we find boolean. This is our third data type. This is also used very frequently. Boolean is a data type used to represent truth values. Truth values are the values true and false. These values are the foundation of logic and logic is the foundation of computing, so they are essential for programming. Let's see true and false. These are the values in JavaScript. They are special values because they have special properties. They are the only two values of the Boolean data type. 
and they have to be written in lowercase. If you write them in uppercase or you write any of their letters in uppercase, they will not be considered as the special values true and false. Okay, so make sure to write them in lowercase. And right here, we start to talk about null and undefined. They have different purposes, but they are both used to represent the absence, absence of something. Null represents the absence of an object and undefined represents the absence of a value. These are the values that you would see in a JavaScript program. Null for the null data type. Notice that they are written in lowercase and undefined for the undefined data type. They are two different things, okay? The data type is different from the actual value that belongs to that data type. So when you refer to the data type, we usually write the first letter in uppercase, but the value in JavaScript inside your program would be written in lowercase. Vigint is not used so frequently because it has very specific use cases, particularly in scientific fields, but I want you to know what this is all about. It's a data type used to represent integers of arbitrary magnitude. We use it to store and operate on large integers. Finally, we have symbol. It's a data type usually used to create unique values for object keys. Awesome, we talked about the different primitive data types that you can work with in JavaScript. Number, string, boolean, null, undefined, big int, and symbol. These seven primitive data types are the foundation of everything that we will be writing in our JavaScript programs.